Hey guys, Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for their weekly tip. And today's tip is actually about uh, a, a nice little item I always like to point out. Whenever you are moving from any type of Gmail account to another Gmail account, or in this case, maybe a kdu.com email over to a custom email, or whatever it may be, or maybe you're moving from a Gmail account over to your kdu.com email. Now, the reason I always like to point this out is there's a couple things I would highly suggest doing. So if you've been using your kdb.com email for a long time and now you've invested in a custom G Suite email or maybe a, a, you know, a custom email from GoDaddy, whatever it might be, or maybe you've been using your Gmail email for a long time and now you're moving over to the kdb.com one. All right. Well, in this case, there's a couple things you'll want to do. Obviously, first and foremost, if you're ever moving from one Gmail email to another email, you'll obviously want to set up a forwarding. So that way all of your emails will automatically forward over. And then what I always suggest is to set up a vacation responder or a vacation reminder that'll basically just act as your autoresponder at the end of the day, alerting people of your brand new email. All right, so that way whenever anyone sends a message over, then you can automatically have that come back to them saying, hey, thank you so much for sending this. I'll get back in touch with you as quick as possible. By the way, please feel free to update inside your contacts, your address book, my brand new email. All right, and then you can put that in there. So in order to do this, if you're ever switching from one Gmail account to another, so in this case, I'm gonna pretend that I'm switching from my kdb.com email over to my scoutleroymarketing.com email. All right, so what I wanna do is sign into my Gmail account, which I've done so far, and then we're gonna actually come up here at the top of, and we're gonna click on the gear icon for the settings. All right, so we're gonna click on the gear icon and once we click on that, we're going to go to see all settings, all right? So we're going to click on that see all settings section. It's a tongue twister right there. See all settings section. All right. So once we do that, we're going to have a couple things we'll want to do. So first thing first, I always like to just go over to forwarding and pop IMAP, and then let's go ahead and add this in. So in this case, I actually have it going to billing, which is perfect. All right, but if you don't happen to have your email set up, you can click on the add a forwarding address. That way you can forward your email to go over to whatever new email you may be utilizing. All right, so I can add inside a forwarding one. So maybe my new forwarding email that I'm adding in is new at scottleroymarketing.com. That is not a valid email. If you email that, you will get a bounce back. All right, but I'm gonna go ahead and add this in. I'm going to specify on here when it says forward mail to new at scoutleroymarketing.com. I'll click proceed. All right. And as you can see, you have added the forwarding address and we're good to go. Now, one thing, and, and if you want to leave this in the comments below, feel free. One thing I have never figured out is sometimes it'll ask you for a code. All right. So sometimes it'll say, hey, I need a code from your other email address. So if it does ask you for a code, just check your other email that you're going to be utilizing for the forwarding. So you can add inside that, I believe it's about a six digit code in order to set up the forwarding and approve it. Now, once we actually click on this, then as you can see, forward a copy of incoming mail to, we can specify who we want to send this to. So I'm going to send it still over to myself a billing. That's perfect. And then if I want to, I can delete a copy of the email. I can just keep it inside the inbox. I can mark it as read. I can archive it. So I personally always just go ahead and delete it. So that way it's automatically out of my hair on here. It's already coming over. All right. And once that's completed, then we'll just click save changes at the bottom and that'll save everything. All right. So that's step one, because then you can set up your forwarding and you'll be good to go. Now, step two, though, once you set up the forwarding is now you want to alert everyone of the new email address. So what you can then do is go back to general. All right, and this is where we first started, but I went ahead and did the forwarding option first instead. So when we first clicked on settings, the general came up. All right, if we scroll down to the very bottom down here, very, very bottom, we're going to see our vacation responder. Now, a couple things on here. One sends an automa uh, automated reply to incoming messages. If a contact sends you several messages, this automated reply will be sent at most once every four days. So it's not going to send it to every reply that comes in. All right, but I could put inside my vacation responder on here. Say I want to start it today on March 1st. And the subject can be new email for Scott Leroy Marketing. All right, so now I can put inside my message. Hello, 
thank you for reaching out. Please be sure to use my new email of new at scottleroymarketing.com moving forward. Your email has been forwarded and I look forward to replying as soon as possible. Have a great day today. All right, now you will have a couple options on here. All right, so number one that I could say, I only want to send a response to people that are inside my contacts. So anyone that's currently in my contacts, I'll be able to just say, hey, if they're inside my little, you know, Gmail contacts, Google contacts, however you want to consider it, it's going to send that back. So that way, if I'm receiving something for spam, for instance, it will not automatically send it back. All right. And then, of course, down here, if you're utilizing G Suite, like this one is, only send a response to people in Keller Williams Realty, Inc. So anyone that has a KDB.com email. All right, I'm going to leave these blank on here. So that way, if it's anyone that's outside of my contacts that may be reaching out to me, maybe it's a new potential lead. I want to make sure that they obviously receive this too. All right, so once I click Save Changes, we're good. And if you notice, now we're going to have our vacation reminder up here. So setting up that vacation reminder is really just another way to say, you know, hey, I have a new email. I want to make sure you guys know about it. So that way you can reach out to me directly. All right, and we've already got it set up to forward, so that's perfect. We've got both bases covered. So there you go. So that's how simple it is to set up a forwarding and to alert all of your contacts of the brand new email immediately. So there you go. So that is your tech tip for the day.